Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, we are going to see what we can do to avoid injury to the iris when the pupil is not well dilated. In this case, the pupil has dilated to about 4 mm. Let us see the surgical steps. This is a totally unedited recording. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratom. And now, a side port is being made on the left side of the main incision. No, on the right side of the main incision. And now, an air bubble is injected into the, into the anterior chamber and then Tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. This is adrenaline, but adrenaline does not always do the job. We cannot expect that in every case adrenaline will cause dilatation of the people well. But in this case, the people has dilated to some extent. The people which was 4 millimeter has become about 5 millimeter. And after applying visco, the people dilates to about 5.5 millimeter. So we are going to get an adequate sized rexis. So this is a rexis of about 5.5 to 5 millimeter. This is an utrita forceps. And now, hydrodissection is to be done. I am going to try to avoid touching the iris as much as possible because if I touch the iris, the pupil will start becoming smaller. The nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 3, but this is a side port on the left side of the main incision. In this case, I am going to try pre-chopping the nucleus because as soon as we try to chop the nucleus in such cases, the people become small. So here goes the pre-chopper, the sustainer goes and hooks the opposite equator and here it is. The nucleus is divided into two hemonuclei. I come out, inject visco, make the anterior chamber deep, rotate the nucleus, and then use visco again and the pre-chopper goes again. Sustainer hooks the opposite equator and two hemi-nuclei are chopped at on go. So we have got four pieces. And now, I am going to use only the phaco needle. I am not going to use the pre-chopper to emulsify the nuclear pieces. The reason is as soon as I go through the side port, the iris will be touched by the chopper and the people will become more small. So here it is, the on fragment has been emulsified. 
This is the second fragment. Hold it, pull it out of the bag and emulsify at the iris plane. I used the chopper only once and came out. I used the chopper to make the fragment free from the rest of the nucleus. And now I rotate the nucleus, separate the two pieces and come out. Again, I use only the FECO needle and emulsify these two pieces. This single-handed management of the nucleus keeps the people round. There is no iris injury. There is no stromal atrophy. Size of the people is maintained to about 4 millimeter in such cases. And the case get managed nicely. I used some visco all around the piece and here I go. Hold the piece and emulsify at lower vacuum. I have emulsified the other pieces with 450 vacuum and 45 fluorid and 60% ultrasonic energy and this piece 50% ultrasonic energy 300 vacuum and 30 fluorid and now I am trying to remove the cortex by the FECO needle itself and this maneuver should not be imitated do whatever you feel safe in your hands. I felt safe to do this in this case. But if you don't feel safe, don't do this. So I have removed the cortex 360 degree by the FECO needle itself in this case. I don't do it in all cases, but I did it in this particular case. Injected visco. And now goes the intraocular lens. This is a, a single piece monofocal intraocular lens and it has gone in the capsula bag. Rotate the nucleus, place the haptic slit away from the main wound so that I can go behind the nucleus and remove the visco that is trapped behind the, behind the intraocular lens. Removing the visco from the anterior chamber and now I go behind the nuclear, behind the intraocular lens and remove the visco that was there between the posterior capsule and the intraocular lens. So, nice cleaning of the visco is important because if we do not do this, there will be a raised intraocular pressure. Steamy corneal edema, the patient will be very uncomfortable because of raised intraocular pressure. I mean, using the bimanual irrigation aspiration device to remove the visco at this moment irrigation and aspiration being used together through two side ports and this is a bit of moxie moxie fluxacin now i close the side ports hydrating corneal stroma on other side of these stab wounds. Finally, 
a last lavage of the anterior chamber. It is very important to prevent TAS, toxic anterior segment syndrome. The anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very, very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. In such cases, if you are confident enough, you can do single-handed FACO to avoid injury to the iris.